Good morning, everyone. Welcome. So wonderful to see you all here. I'm Mary Pat Higgins. I'm the president and CEO of the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum and the chair of the Visit Dallas Board of Directors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with us to support this pivotal moment in our city's future. This is an exciting day for Dallas and arguably one of the most important strategic initiatives that a destination can take on. Several years ago, the Visit Dallas Board, as part of the organization's three-year strategic plan, established the priority of creating a unified destination brand. We've learned over the years that although we are the ninth largest city in America, very few of our visitors know what our city stands for or what we have to offer. What makes this city a place we all love? That's been hard to tease out. But with all the momentum and growth and product development and the pipeline for Dallas, the timing couldn't be better for a holistic destination alignment and messaging. The new brand will build equity and interest in Dallas as a premier destination for years to come. Today, after nearly two years of research and collaboration led by the incredible Visit Dallas team, we are here to unveil and celebrate the new brand identity. Let's have a round of applause for that. And now it is my pleasure to welcome Visit Dallas's president and CEO, Craig Davis, who will share more about this process. Thank you so much, Mary Pat. Good morning, everyone. We couldn't be more fortunate to have Mary Pat as our chair at this very, very moment. Your support and strategic vision has been critical in this process. So today, we're here to celebrate almost two years of critical work by countless people throughout the city. As Mary Pat mentioned, as part of our strategic plan, our vision was to create an authentic destination brand to promote Dallas on the world stage. Much more than a logo, tagline, or campaign, our vision was to create a unique platform and point of differentiation for Dallas that could be adopted citywide. We knew this was a task way too large for Visit Dallas to, to put up on our own. So that's why it was critical to partner with organizations across the city throughout this entire process. From elected officials to economic development organizations, each of our diverse chambers of commerce, DDI, arts, culinary, hospitality, sports, transportation communities, and even residents were involved. We consulted as many community leaders as possible and we simply couldn't achieve this without all of you. I wanna take this opportunity to recognize your support. Please stand or wave if you're involved in this process. Let's celebrate you, thank you. Quite a few people. There are also a few people here I'd like to specifically recognize. Council members Janie Schultz, Jesse Moreno, and Gay Donald Willis, who I'll introduce in a moment, as well as our county treasurer, Pauline Madrano. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I also must ask or thank our friends at AT&T Discovery District, who have been incredibly gracious in allowing us to host this event here at this beautiful plaza this morning. So now, I'd like to introduce someone who has been the champion throughout this entire process. Please join me in welcoming council member and former Visit Dallas board member, Gay Donnell Willis. Thank you, Gay. Thank you, Craig. And thank you to the Visit Dallas team for spearheading this very important process. As a former board member of Visit Dallas and as a marketer, I was proud to be on the Visit Dallas brand committee for this important exercise. There could not be a more opportune time than the present for this work. There is so much on the horizon here. Think about it. The new and expanded $3.7 billion K. Bailey Hutchison Center Dallas. And then just recently, FIFA announced our World Cup matches. So World Cup 2026 will have nine matches in Dallas more than any other city. That's the equivalent of nine Super Bowls, y'all. That's a big deal. Our hotel growth is happening faster than any other city. 
We were just voted the number one arts district in the, the country by USA Today. Let's hear it for our arts community. <laughs> we're projected to be the third largest metro in the US within the decade. So now is the moment for Dallas to shine. And the work our city has done on this destination brand is an underscore to the rise of Dallas as a true global city. So please welcome Jennifer Scripps, President and CEO of Downtown Dallas, Inc. Thanks, Jennifer. Thank you. My name is Jennifer Scripps, and I am proud to serve as the President and CEO of Downtown Dallas, Inc. Welcome to Downtown Dallas. We are proud to have been the chief advocate for our urban core for more than 65 years. And today, we celebrate the completion of a chapter in this process, recognizing the tremendous effort from people throughout our entire community. Have you noticed how many hotels there are in downtown and what a critical part of our city the tourism industry is? I'm staring at the iconic Adolphus Hotel, but there are so many others and there are more in the works. As we look to the future at our upcoming convention center, it is going to be critical to bringing more business to our downtown corridor. And this brand could not be more timely and is key to the future success as we market Dallas, downtown Dallas, and beyond. And as we strive to attract new residents and visitors for decades to come. But the reality remains, the work of implementing this brand, what I would argue is even more difficult is just beginning. It's like bringing the baby home from the hospital. The work begins today. So together, our organizations can do something so collectively powerful with this work. As you begin make, making future strategic plans, please consider ways to incorporate this destination brand for Dallas and collaborate with others. For instance, at Downtown Dallas, Inc., we recently completed our first organizational strategic plan. And for us, our work always starts with downtown being clean, safe, and welcoming for everybody. But our plan also emphasizes our economic development and the vibrancy of downtown. So continuing to build our strong partnership with Visit Dallas is going to help us embrace what we can be together. And our new brand identity helps us do this work together. Because a brand only matters if it is used. And if several have mentioned, arriving here today has been no small task. And I would argue there's one person who's been our fearless leader throughout all of this and has put more sweat into this process than anyone else. So please join me in welcoming Visit Dallas' Chief Marketing Officer, Jennifer Walker. Thank you, Jennifer. Wow, what a morning and what a turnout. Thank you all for being here this morning. It's wonderful to see you here today. And today truly is an exciting day. Because when we first started this exercise over two years ago, we didn't know if creating a unified destination brand was even possible. Dallas has such an incredible array of vibrant experiences and culture, but really there isn't a singular thing that rises to the top or that sets us apart. Now we as Dallasites all know about our wonderful neighborhoods, our experiences, and the energy that powers our destination story. But the vast majority of visitors don't. In fact, research tells us that visitors still to this day associate Dallas with the soap opera back from the 1980s and other cliche Texas stereotypes. And Dallas deserves to tell its story of today. So knowing that we wanted to tell an authentic story of who Dallas is today, where did we start? Well, as with everything I do in marketing, we knew it would be critical to root our efforts in research and extensive research at that. So we fielded national quantitative studies, national and local focus groups, and local being critical because we needed residents to see themselves reflected in this new brand. We conducted social listening, one-on-one -on -one stakeholder interviews, customer advisory board interviews, and local brand workshops. And then when we thought that we had arrived in a really good place, we went back and conducted even more research to affirm where we had landed with the brand positioning and our brand essence. And the key insight that that research yielded 
is that Dallas is an emerging global city that exudes its own unique energy. And what differentiates us from other destinations are the very individuals that define this community, and that is our people. More specifically, it is our powerful can-do energy, our pride, our welcoming personality, and even our attitude that fuels our destination story. If you remember nothing else, remember this today, that the Dallas brand, in its simplest form, is a maverick can-do spirit. Dallas is a city powered and empowered by human energy. We are a diverse intermingling of humanity that generates an endless capacity of can-do, can-be dynamic. And at the foundation of this brand are several pillars or core values, which include our diverse community of people, our amazing creative culinary influences, arts and entertainment, something that we refer to as our future-facing innovative audacity, speaking to our state-of-the-art convention center. And you can't talk about Dallas without referencing our iconic sports culture. But words alone do not do our brand justice. So to help bring the new brand to life, I'd like to play a brand essence video to show the creative expression of a maverick can-do spirit, which we define as just the right amount of swagger. This is a story about swagger. Not that kind. This kind. He has it. She has it. They have it. That crew definitely has it. Swagger is how we find ourselves dancing salsa at sunset with a stranger, sharing the password to a speakeasy, venturing off the menu, welcoming everyone up to the rooftop, splurging on first plus vinyl or rocking new boots at a hockey game swagger is how we be our true selves it's the power source where artists find the spark innovators find the fuel and icons find their timeless voltage it's a feeling that anything is possible and everyone is welcome like no city on earth Dallas offers up an irresistibly magnetic confidence, a hyper-original can-do, can-be vibe, a collective sense that the walls around what divides us are crumbling, and a new vision of togetherness is emerging into a wide blue North Texas sky. A living, breathing, starry-eyed, and wholehearted belief that the future is boundless and ours to share, with a round of margaritas, of course. This is Dallas. This is just the right amount of swagger. I'm going to go off script here and just thank our agency partners, Greenhouse. They've been phenomenal in creating this unified destination brand with us. Thank you guys so much. They're here in person. Give them a round of applause, please. As Jennifer Scripps mentioned earlier, establishing a destination brand is a long-term play and our work truly is just beginning. And there's a saying in our industry that Visit Dallas doesn't own the brand promise, this community does. Our success is absolutely contingent on res residents adopting this new brand, which is why we took care to launch the brand creative here first in Dallas. We want to ensure that residents see themselves reflected and feel included in this process which is why we created our local brand campaign that we call We Do, Can Do. Now this campaign shines a spotlight on Dallas sites that embody the essence of that, brand, that maverick can do spirit for each of our core pillars. More than that, we wanted to celebrate our incredible arts community. So we commissioned local artists to bring the likenesses of these can doers to life. So what I'd like to do now is to present those treatments to you on screen. In no particular order, our can-doers are Anastasia Quinones-Pittman, executive chef of Jose, Darren Babcock, executive director of Bonton Farms, Daisha Board, founder and curator of Daisha Board Gallery, Michelle Carpenter, 
executive chef and owner of Restaurant Beatrice. Sint Marshall, chief executive officer of the Dallas Mavericks. Arike Agumbawale, guard, Dallas Wings. And Tim and Terrence Maiden, co-founders of the Maiden Foundation. This incredible work has been crafted by Dallas-based artists including Hatziel Flores, Michelle Deckers, Haley Ryan, Blake Wright, Armando Sebastian, and Jeremy Biggers. At this time, I would like to ask the artists and the can doers who are here with us today to please stand and be recognized for your wonderful contributions. Thank you so much. Our city is better because of you. So this campaign, if you haven't seen it as yet, is running locally and out of home in radio and print, streaming video and more through the end of May. And knowing how important it is to have Dallas residents see themselves reflected in this new brand and knowing how, just how strong our Spanish community is, our Hispanic community is, we've transcreated this campaign into Spanish as well and we'll be running paid advertising in specific Spanish media, including Univision and Telemundo, to name a few. Our work truly is just beginning, and we want to continue to tell the stories of these Dallasites who embody the essence of this brand for months to come. So residents, so each and every one of you in this audience will have the ability to nominate a future can-doer on our website. And finally, Knowing that the foundation of our brand is rooted in the people of Dallas, we wanted to give back to the community in some capacity. So we've partnered with Big Thought, which is a local impact nonprofit that aligns with several of our core brand pillars, and we'll be donating net proceeds from branded t-shirt sales to their organization. Yes. So at this time, please join me in welcoming Dietrich Stocks from Big Thought. I'm shorter than everyone who has spoken before me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am Dree Stocks, and I am Chief Development Officer for Big Thought. And I am so thankful to be here in support of this effort for a city that we love. At Big Thought, we believe that all youth are creators. We believe that they should be equipped with the skills and tools to imagine their best lives and a better world. And we are committed to closing the opportunity gap so all youth in this city, full of possibilities, can belong and thrive. That's why Big Thought's creator archetype a framework for a 21st century ready young person incorporates arts and culture, innovative technologies, and youth engagement to help young people maximize their potential. Our framework could only have been developed in a city like Dallas, where Big Thought can collaborate with hundreds of partners, artists, community leaders, families, and the youth themselves to ensure we are meeting the current and future needs of young people in our region. And we're thrilled to count Visit Dallas among our partners. And we look forward to continuing to do this important work on behalf of Dallas youth together. Well, I'm rounding this out today, but I want to also acknowledge Deputy Mayor Pro Tem Carolyn King Arnold for being here. Thank you so much. So our team truly cannot thank you enough for being here today and for the support that you've given us for this endeavor. We hope you'll partner with us and bring this brand to life. To learn more or to purchase a Dallas t-shirt, visit DallasCanDo.com. Also, keep your eyes open for tomorrow night because our skyline is going to be lit up at Reunion Tower, Omni, Bank of America Tower, AT&T Discovery District right here, and the National Soccer Hall of Fame. They're all going to be lit up with our signature can do blue to celebrate the brand launch so everyone thank you so much for being here today you honor us with your presence have a wonderful day and thanks so much have a great day